So, this is livestream session number 3 for my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough guide. We're gonna basically just go through the week 4 in this livestream session. So yeah. Um... Other than that, we can get started, I guess. Let's go in the week 4. Actually, uh, let's go in the building, actually. But actually, I want to show you guys my team. My, f my team for the week 4. Okay, here's Shrooms, level 55, uh, holding the Miracle Seed with the move Sky Uppercut, Secret Power, Mock Punch, Giga Drain, and Giga Drain. Uh, let's see, um, uh, Prime, I as in real, and my, um, my Shrooms is also obviously about Breloom, so there we go. Um, yeah, let's see. C instance is the held item. Uh, Brick Break, Hyper Beam, Waterfall, and Ice Beam. Night Might Agron, uh, holding the Soft Sand, Nose, Thunderbolt, Takedown, Earthquake, and Iron Tail. Uh, Blaine, my Blaziken, uh, holding the Charcoal, Nose Moves, Flamethrower, Illuminate, Brick blaze, blaze Kick, and Overheat. And finally, oh, no, there's two more. Uh, Peter, my Pelipper. Uh, holding the Amulet coin, a Chakra of Surf, Stealing and Fly. And finally, Speedy my Lanoon, holding the Silk Scarf, knows the move Slant Bolt, Strength, Shadow Ball, and Slash. That's really about it. So, other than that, we can just go. My Pokemon, my team's already healed up. If you need if you need it to be healed up, there's a Pokemon Center on the left to heal your Pokemon. Area to heal your Pokemon. And then here's the uh, Mart guy, which I think I have all I need. Let me just double check. 25, 25 full heal, or 4 stores, 27 hyper potions, 1 max potion, eliminate 1, set of pop 2, fresh water 2. I should be good, I mean, yeah. 32 full heals. Uh, I have 20 in revives, so I, I should be good. But yeah, that's good to know. So let's go talk to this guy. I'll type the guy on the left. It doesn't really matter which who you talk to. They both say the same thing, and we'll, they will, you know, let you think if you all oh, gym badges. My headset's just all no. There we go. Headset was giving me troubles. Um, beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and free Pokemon. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon, and go forth. Okay, that was as easy as that, guys. So I have, of course, uh, Shrooms, my Broloom up front. You want to have a fighting type Pokemon up front? Because the first guy, Sydney, and he has. He's the user of Dark type. He's the, I should just say, he's the master of Dark type Pokemon, yeah. Let's talk to him. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Week 4. I like that you look. that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. Okay, Sydney, let's go. Let's see what you got. I didn't do a practice run for this Elite Four, so we'll just have to, I'm just going off. I'm just basically winging it. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to try a Mach Punch first just to see how much it does on this Mighty Anna that's level 46. Okay, I'll just use another mock punch then. So I'm not I'm pretty sure the sky uppercut may have put the um this mighty end on the red health. But yeah. The mock punch still hits after that sand attack, which is awesome because that's what we want to do. We want to make sure moves hit as much as possible. There goes the mighty end. Okay, we got the first Pokemon down, Apsil. I'm pretty sure this Apsil knows Alio Ace. Which is could be a big problem because Shrooms is four times weak to flying type moves. So, Absol, um, I was gonna send out Blaine, but Blaine's also weak to flying type moves. I'll send in Knight, I wanna see where Knight can, hopefully Knight can take this thing out. Even though I don't really have a fine type move on Knight, but, yeah, this thing's level 49, I remember it's specifically level 49. Um, let's see what much your takedown does. And since my rock had ability on my Knight, um, it, oh, so it's not scary as its stack. This, since Knight has the racket ability, it doesn't cause recoil damage to itself. Oh no, I forgot about the Citrus Berry. Okay. Um. 
Thunderbolt? I don't want to see how much Thunderbolt does. Just maybe a little bit so it gets back in the yellow. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, Rock Slide's not good. I'm quad resistant to, um, or Knight's quad resistant to Rock type moves. So, sorry, bud, but you're just kind of in a pickle right now. Critical hit, uh, pointless critical hit, but I'll take it. You never know if that actually need, that critical hit actually made it. Difference of whether it faint that turn or not, but I'm pretty sure it didn't. Rodont, um, let's go with, um, let's go with Peter. Peter Shockwave, and if Crydon knows, like, Dark Type moves, probably, and a, a couple of Water Type moves, probably, too. So, yeah. Let's see how much your Shockwave does. Oh, I put in the red health. Okay, I'm just putting this up four story or something. There's that sword dance. Uh, you don't want to make you, you want to make sure Sydney doesn't get too much sword dance up um, during this fight. Uh, let's get his four story. That was kind of predictable. That's kind of predictable, man. It's okay. Okay. Wow, it did half. Surf did half the damage. It's good. Let's just go for another shock wave. There we go. Shift tree, huh? Yeah, for a shift tree, I'll go to Blaine. Um, see how much a flamethrower does. Just out curiosity. He's only level 48 after all. There we go, and he KO, nice. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. Nice. Cacturn, okay, yeah, but can just stay in. Just see if we can faint this with another flamethrower. Hopefully it'll faint it. There we go. I defeated Loot Force Sydney, yay. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Eh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. And since I got 9,800 9, 9, Pokedollars, that's because I had, uh, I showed you guys that, um, Peter had the Amulet coin earlier, which doubles the prize money if it's out in battle for a turn. That Pokemon that's holding the Amulet coins out for battle, at least for a turn. So that's why I got double the money. That's pretty cool. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got you've got what it takes to go go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Thanks, Sydney. I'll, I will do that. And I think the next one's 